Hi. Hello? Yes, I was calling about uh, my overalls. I've got uh, a bunch of overalls. I've also got 72 bandanas. <laughs> 72 bandanas? From Wyoming. Okay, so are you looking to sell these bandanas or what? I want you to uh, more or less appraise them and uh, tell me what they're worth. I'll pay you for the appraisal. Um, it'll be an amount uh, that I decide. That decision will be final. Okay, and you'll abide by it. So, um, and I will abide by it? Excuse me? Yeah, so how much am I looking to get here, probably, off you? Um, well, I mean, fine, I can't really tell you, my friend. We'll give it a shot. I mean, that, that's impossible for me to do. Uh, how, do you, how do you expect me to give you a price for something that I haven't seen? Well, they're like Bojangles style. Bojangles style. Um, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I, I don't think that anything could help you. Think you do? I mean, I'm the no, one calling you. No, I'm. No, I'm gonna hang up the phone now. So why don't you try a little harder? Excuse oh, me. Overall, how? You ever? Okay, listen, buddy. Um, I'm hanging up the phone now. Yeah, I needed some um, back patches. Okay, this is the thing I just called right now. No, 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 no. No, no. Your voice sounds exactly the same. Well, how much is uh, like a back patch? How much is a back pack? I don't know. Anywhere from five dollars to hundred dollars. Okay, I need a hundred back patches. You need a hundred back patches. Okay, yeah. You're gonna have to call somebody else. Well, you're gonna have to accommodate me. Period. End of discussion. Listen, motherfucker, you call here one more time? Making demands from me? So, yeah, do you guys do appraisals? Look, man, you need to stop fucking calling the store. I ain't got time for this mess. Do you do appraisals, yes or no? No, we don't do appraisals. Why not? Because that's not our job. That's not what we do. I'll, co I'll come to you. Yeah, How's that? You work, no, you're not going to come to anybody. To you need to stop calling to waste my fucking time. You're wasting mine right now. I'm wasting your time, huh? Period. End of sentence. Yeah, what part didn't you... End of sentence and stop fucking talking, buddy. I, stop calling my phone. I got overalls, I got bandanas, I got... I don't give a fuck what you have. I don't give a fuck what you're all about. You need to stop calling my store because you're getting on my fucking nerves. How about that? Take a look at what I'm wearing. Take a look at what you're... Man, shut up. Please enjoy the music while your party is reached. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. This is uh, Giannini. How you doing? What can I do for you, Giannini? Yes, uh, I work with Isotone of Gloves. Yeah, well, well, wonderful. That's very, very exciting for you. I think you've got the wrong number to No, we need someone to, to show off our gloves. Model our gloves. For I just count as blood, you know. But what's your name again, Ben? Giannini. Great. So we're going to some I just count as blood, and you want someone to show off your blood. How much do you want to pay him, and how real are you? You're full guy. I'm not buying this, Giannini. Not buying it? Well, how about to the tune of $1,800? 1800 You need a guy or a girl? We need a gal. You need a gal. You are, uh, let me get the number where you can be reached at the company. Okay, my direct line is one two three four five six seven, and uh, the event is on the twelfth of this month. But your number is one two three four five six seven. What year are you talking? It's zero zero zero. So we, I've never heard such a number here. Well, that's my direct line. So, so, so if someone were to dial zero 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 one two three four five six seven, they'd reach you, right? Well, yeah. This is Isotonic Buzz. Maybe you've heard of us. Maybe you haven't. But um, I can. I've say heard of you. I've, of course, I've heard of you, but I've never heard of Gary Cardone. I'm well, not calling you right now, but we'll see have, how we do. Have you ever heard of uh, Calibri lighters? Yes. Yeah, I've well, heard of Isotonic Buzz, not Calibri lighters. I use Calibri lighters. Yeah. I use Isotonic Buzz. You're, you're calling me from a block number, and you just gave me a number that doesn't work. That is so, not so true. Far, that is not true. I'm ready yeah, to call yeah. me back and open your line up and we'll talk about doing business, okay? I'll send you PayPal half the amount up front. Well, I, I don't understand why you don't have a number, honey. I just gave it to you. 
I just dialed it from another number. I'm sitting here with two assistants. Yeah. And we just dialed zero 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 one two four five six seven. No, it's one two three four five six seven. We dialed it. We, we dialed it. Let's try it one more time for everybody. We got plenty of time. Let me have your email address and I'll shoot you a payment right now. Yeah, your number doesn't work, babe. Why would I give you my email? I've got six email addresses. I'd be happy to give you one, but there's no payment because you don't have a number. which basically means you don't exist with your ice and color blood. All I need... I'll be back from a real member. Let me figure out if you're real and we'll talk. If there's not enough money for me to sit here and let, and let you entertain yourself, okay? You need to be able to use a lighter. That's the only stipulation. I think you better go back to doing the drugs that you just finished off before you called me, okay? What is that supposed to mean? I'm looking for a dancer around here. There's no dancers around here. You should really stop calling this number. Either a model or a singer or a No, dancer. no models, no singers, no dancers, uh, no nothing. Stop calling this number. I heard you were pretty good dancers. Who the hell is this? Is this Carlos? This is Giannini. I don't know you, you don't know us. You should really stop calling this number before I report it or block you. I want to do a little dancing tonight. How's that sound? Well, you go ahead and do your dancing. Call somebody else. Stop fucking with us. Please enjoy the music while your party is reached. <laughs> Hi, I was needing to hire a spokesperson as soon as possible, please. Uh, would you introduce yourself, uh, please? Yeah, I am Giannini. I'm with the Isotoner uh, Gloves. Right, you're the same fucking retard that called me yesterday, okay? Lose my number, okay? You don't have a business deal. You're the best fan and a stalker. And frankly, you're boring. You're not even a good spaghetti, all right? You're yes. a fucking retard. Let me fit your hand with our gloves and you'll change your tune. I bet you. What? Yeah, there, you don't have any gloves. You're either that or you are the most ridiculously verbal human being ever. Your brain and your mouth don't match up, okay? You spoke to yesterday, gave me a wrong fucking number. You're a moron. Isotone of gloves and lighters and all the rest of your bullshit. Tell it to somebody that fucking gives this shit, you stalker, fucker, loser. Lose my fucking number, okay, Mr. Fucking Smarty Pants? What do you have to say for yourself? We've got some new products that are going to drive you wild. You have some new products to shove up your loser ass. You get what a loser you are? We are a winning brand. Are you, you, you're, you're winning brand, your stalkership, your obsession with me. I'm going to give you some jerk off material right now, so get out of your towel, okay? Is your towel and your dick in your hand with whoever's with you that is obsessed with me? Go fuck yourself. Fuck your mother, fuck your grandmother, and fuck your sister, okay? Then fucking call me back with your spaghetti fucking offers and your little fucking fan base over there and fucking stick it up your ass and drop dead, all right? So there you go. I've given you your off this year. You can tell your friends, fuck them with the profit today, what a charming experience it was. And then I've now given you something to jerk off to. All right, sweetheart Giovanni, you don't even know your fucking name, by the way. Hello? My name is Jacques with DHL, and we're trying to deliver your package, but we're lost. Really? What package? We have a big case of wine for you. Uh, where are you so I can tell you? I'm on uh, Socket Street. Socket oh. Street? And we'll be there in about five to ten oh. minutes. It's a case of wine and a corkscrew. Uh, from Costco? Yeah. That's funny. No, but tell me where you are so I can help you. The thing we need from you is cash or check. Yeah, I'm not going to give any cash or check. I don't know what, what this is all about. It's from, tell me anything. I didn't order anything. It's from Dry Socket. Yeah. Okay. I didn't order anything. Fine wine. Wine? I never order any wine. Hey, I'm in traffic right now. I'm driving. I'm yeah, trying. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, look. We opened one of the bottles of wine. Only one. I never ordered any wine, sir. I opened one bottle. <laughs> Such a good one. I never ordered anything. Sir, sir, sir. Who's you looking for? What's my first name? Raul. 
and I need a check, and I need you to quit wasting my time. No, I'm not. Okay, I'll come on. I can, I'll stay outside. I'll see what happened, okay? Uh, okay. I don't know what it's all about. I don't know where you are. Anyway, you have to go to Atlantic Boulevard. Why are you fiddling around? I'm, I'm not fiddling around with you. I'm, I'm trying to tell you how to come. Are you trying to tickle me? No, 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 no. I, 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 I come out to my house. I come out of my house, okay? I will be out in the street in my, where I live. My name is Jacques. I'm coming outside now. I'm going to wait for you. Sir, what, street, what, what, what is the name of the street say? I'm turning left. Now I'm turning I, right. I, I say what address? Raul. I know what uh, my address. Three zero three four six. No, that is a telephone number. It's not my telephone. My I that's my that's my telephone. What do you mean? Three zero three four six. The telephone. I'm talking about my house address. I drink one of your bottles of wine. Sir, what address you say to deliver to my house? I'm turning right. Now I'm going just right. Now we need. Thirteen hundred and twenty-three dollars. Yeah, I know. I, I, I don't know what you're talking. I, I'm saying, I'm asking you what address you're looking for. I'm not talking about, I'm talking, you, know, you want to deliver to my house. What is the address? Wine. Address? 506. That telephone number is not my no, address. No, no. Are you outside or inside? I'm coming out now. Yeah, I'm coming out now. I'm coming out now. I'm coming out. I took two bottles of wine. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm on the street now. 506. I'm coming out now, I'm coming out. I need you to jump up and down. Where are you? Where? Where? In the street. Where? Which part of the street? Driving down the street. Where are you? I don't, I don't know the street, which part of the street. I, I don't know where you I, I'm, I'm, I'm out in my door. My, my. Sir, what, what, what are you talking about? You talk about wine. I don't drink wine. I never drink wine in my life. Sir, who, sir, who? Sure, 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 I'm, I'm talking to you on the phone now, right now in front of my door. Where, where are you? Where are you? Jumping up and down, sir. Where? But where? Up and down the street. Where are you? Who gave you my number? DHL. This is Jacques. I don't know what you're talking to. You, you, stop call, you, you better not answer, call the phone because I'm not going to answer no more. You have a case of I, wine coming to you. Uh, I, I don't drink. You owe me money. Okay, I owe you money. You say what you want. I don't know who you are. I want you to jump up and down. Okay, I jump up and down. Jump up and down the street. Yes, I'll jump up and down the street. Okay. Here, I'll yodel in the street. What a what? What a drink together in the street. I don't drink. I don't know what you're talking to. Hello. Yes, this is Mr. Freebus. I'm a retro styled hang glider and I need some photographs taken. What was that? Mr. Freebus. Oh, uh, Jesus. What now, dude? You're Mr. Freebus now. What happened to Jacques? You were Jacques last time and before that you were something else. Who's this? Um, dude, I'm really over this shit. I'm sick of it. Um, you can take your rockabilly skydiving ass off a of fucking cliff, okay? Leave me the fuck alone. I just need some snapshots taken. Prano. I don't take snapshots, take care. Well, I hang glide and I want some photos taken. And I'm retro. So You're retro? Deal with that word? Deal with it? Is that what you just said? Deal with it? Yeah. Just take the snapshots and we'll be done. Great. Who are you, dude? What are, What do you want with me? Do you know me? Is there some, something I did to you? Is there something you need from me? I don't understand why you keep choosing me. Or do you have a roster of fucking people you call and prank? I mean, I don't understand. Are you getting off? Is your dick in your hand right now? Are you stroking yourself while you're talking to me? Are you gay? Are you looking for some kind of homosexual relationship? What is the point of this? Are you stalking me? Are you gonna kill me? Come fucking do it already, dude. Stop fucking calling me. I really don't need to hear from you anymore. I could have easily blocked your stupid number, but I didn't. Because I, 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 I've got this weird curiosity on who the fuck you are. I'm Mr. Freebus. You're Mr. Freebus. I am a hang glider, and i am got a retro style, and I want some photographs. Here, Michael, please, I gotta go fucking pick the dude's ass out front. All right, dude, I want to meet you up front right now. Come meet me right now. Get your ass up right now, bitch. Come on, I'll snapshot your ass right now. Okay. I'll Step outside. I'll be there. Yeah, where are you? I'm in Monrovia right now. Where do you think I am right now? 
You're going to be in a world of hurt. Before I get into this world of hurt, where am I right now? I don't know. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Mr. Fevish, whatever the fuck your name is? Mr. Freebus. All right, Mr. Freebus, what is your uh, address? It's 414 Mammoth Court. There's no Mammoth Court in Monrovia. You're, <sighs> You're pissing me off, dude. I'm pissing you off? Really? Did I call you? Probably. Oh, probably. All right, well, I'm glad I'm pissing you off, because you are making my day. I'm a happy camper, speaking to my good friend, Mr. Fevish. Why are you so happy? Because you just bring joy to me. Mr. Friedrich, what is my name? I don't know. You don't know? Where'd you get my number? I saw it on a wall and there was. it said you took photos. But tell me where, what wall did you find my number on? I got a retro style, I hang glide, and I need pro shots taken, period. End of sentence. I'll do it all, but you gotta answer my questions first. I have an interview process. If you don't want to answer these questions, then you can go ahead and jump off any fucking plane you want. Answer my fucking question. Where did you get my number? In Monrovia. I don't, my number is not in Monrovia. I've never been in Monrovia. Fuck okay. Come on, tell me what wall did you get my number on? That's all you said last time, by the way. You didn't say Monrovia. You said a different area. Where did you get my number? I don't know if you're running like a cloak and dagger kind of operation or what you're doing. Okay. That's exactly what I'm doing. I work for President Bush. I, I, I run a cloak and dagger situation here. I work for the uh, Opus Day and the Skull and Bow. That's who I work for. So, so want to fuck with me now, dude? Why don't you take my number and lose it? Why don't you shove it? I'd love to shove it. I'd love to shove it. In fact, I shove it back. That's what I fucking do back. Can you lose my number? Dude, just take the pictures already. Dude, leave me the fuck alone. Hello? Yeah, this is Monroe at Tough Shed. And uh, we're going to be out there at 7.30 a.m. Take dimensions and everything. Uh, you kind of have the wrong number. No, I don't. Uh, and you're at Tough Shed? Yeah. Tell me, I'm Monroe. I'm telling you, this is really weird because uh, why would I want to tough shed when when that's what we do? We build sheds. We're sheds by W. W. Jones. You want to see how I do it? Is that it? No. Well, get in line. I I mean, somebody somewhere has done something because I've never even talked bad about tough sheds. Nothing ever. I don't. I don't want a shed. If I wanted a shed, I got a whole yard full of sheds. I don't want a shed. You want us to demolish the ones you got? <laughs> no. Are you serious? I have not called you, Monroe. I promise you. I have not ordered anything from you. I, I mean, I've been having weird calls at my work, too. What do you got to say about tough shed? I don't say anything bad about tough shed. I have never said anything bad about tough shed. You want to see how I do it. Just admit it. I don't want to see how you do it. We've been doing it longer than you. Listen, I'm going to come out there. I'm going to spec you out. I'm going to take okay. all your measurements up and down and all around. And then we're going to get everything erected. How's that sound? I did not order it. I didn't do it. I don't do this kind of stuff. And if you want to come out here, you're not going to erect a shed on my property. I'm telling you that right now. I'll be there bright and early. you be here at my house at 730. My fat ass is still going to be in bed. Lady, this and is Monroe. If I were you, I would not start erecting any kind of shed. Oh, no? What address are you going to do this? Well, the specified place. If you come here and build a shed, you're not allowed on my property. Do not come on my property. Because you don't even know where the hell I live with a specified place that you have. Whatever. Just don't come to my house and erect a shed, as you say, because I'm not going to pay you for it. Oh. Apparently, you don't even know where I live because this specified location that you have. Just don't wake me up because I will not be awake at 7.30 in the morning. Who is this? Monroe. <laughs> I heard that Monroe crap. Monroe, I've never even talked to you. I've never said anything bad about tough sheds. But if you come to my house and arrest the shed at 7.30 in the morning, I feel sorry for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Let me talk to your husband. Hello? Hi, this is Monroe at Tough Shed. Hey, Monroe, how are you doing? I say, how are you doing? It's just a courtesy call that we'll be out there at 7.30 bright and early tomorrow to get your specs for your uh, Tough Shed. I think you've got a mistake there. We're going to be there at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow to take your measurements. Get you specs out. You're going to be here at 7.30 in the morning and you're going to be in jail at 8 o'clock. Why's that? I have to sign up some tough shit. I am a shed company. We own the shed company. W.W. Jones Corporation. Been there for years and years and years.
I've been on the job for 12 years. Well, you need to go a little while longer. I've been in the same location 38 years, and I ain't got nothing against to have a shed, so we get me wrong. But I don't need a shed built here at my place. Well, then I need a deposit at the very least. I'm through doing things on spec for you people. We got ladies calling me up and telling me this and that. And my lady told you, or you told her. What are you, wacky? Are you the fucking ones wacky? Listen, I'm man. I'm trying to tell you, sir. I'm a shed manufacturing company. I get along with those sheds. I ain't got nothing bad to say about you whatsoever. None. We're both in this shed business, but we ain't ordering this shed. We want a shed. We, we've got sheds. We've got a hundred something on the set. I've got a couple of sheds if I wanted one. I'm on the fork yet. Oh, come on. You're gonna what the hell you got to come for? You better come from California if you're going to try that shed. I, I work all around the country. You ain't never seen a hillbilly fight, have you? I'm number one. And I got some new designs that are going to try to I'm saying I don't know why you feel that way. If we could work on this partnership, we'd probably make more money. Then we would fight each other. Why don't you want to fight me? Because I would. Why are you doing nothing? We got the toughest sheds in the business. I've got the toughest sheds in the business, that's right. No, I do. Uh, are they DCA approved? Well, I don't know what that means, but listen. Uh, you should know, because that's a part of the law. I got a motorcycle and a ramp, and I jump off and I land on the shed. Boom, and it's sick. Motorcycle and a ramp don't mean shit to the same block. It's your DCA approved, which is for the Department of Community Affairs of the state of Florida. And I've been approved and building DCA sheds for the past 10, 15 years. We are tough man, and durable. I don't think the main office of tough sheds would, would appreciate whoever you are. Oh, I'm the number one salesman. Up, up, up there on the half ass, you gonna come out here and beat my ass up. Because they've been a lot of guys try that little shit over the past 68 years. You better not be bad enough for tough shit on there. I ain't got no reason to, man. We own our own damn truck and we do our own damn thing. I'm gonna kick your damn shed with my boots. How's that sound? Should kick my shed with your boots. Man, you're welcome to try that any day if you want to. You could try it on mine and you're gonna bounce backwards real fast. Why the hell are you talking like this, man? Because we're tough. Oh, man, ain't no need to be in a tub. You don't have to be tough to be a tough shit. You'd be normal. I'm shit, but if you didn't tell them corporate. And you're a tough shit. Why the hell do we want to find each other? It's a case of tough shit for you. You're gonna be right here at my address in the morning, right? Yep, bright and early. And I need you front and center with the checkbook, okay? Front and center with the checkbook. Oh, I'm most certain to do that. I'm actually driving right now. So you're actually creating a hazard for me. Oh, you should just stop and go to bed someplace, because she's going to have a hell of a fight tomorrow. And you're not going to be fighting for long. I've been fighting for 68 years, so. Buddy, I got a ramp, I got a motorcycle, I got a helmet. I got a tractor, I got two tractors. Well, I don't mean shit. We'll talk to some chefs tomorrow. They just informed me that not to say nothing else to you, and we're going to talk to some chefs first thing in the morning. I'm going to strap you on the back of my bike. And we're going to do a demonstration together, and we'll see who comes out the van. You ain't got to put no no motorcycle. I would ride one of those sons of bitches if I had one for free. I'm going to strap I, you on. I'm not riding on no damn motorcycle with you, son. <laughs> no. No, this is Monroe, and I'm through doing things I'm on the Monroe, and you hung up on my ass last time you said. She hung up on my ass. She hung up on your ass. You hung up on my ass. Look, I'm through working on spec for you people. Monroe, I ain't ordered nothing from you. I ain't ordered nothing from Tough Sheds. I ain't ordered nothing from Home Depot. I ain't ordered nothing from no damn body. You're bananas, man. Goddamn right, I'm bananas. You're wasting your time. You call the wrong person. What are you talking smack about tough shit for? I ain't talking smack about tough shit. Why the hell we anything here, sir? I don't even know you. You're slandering. I ain't slandering no one. 
don't have to slander anyone. Kick your butt. You best off just come your ass on over to Marlin and get and, and get it kicked, and then you can go home and tell your folks about it. I'm fixing a whoop you. Look, mother, okay. come on. Mark the Yeah, can I get uh, catfish to go? Uh, you get a catfish to go? Yeah. What we'll try to get Can I get onion? And, cel and celery stick. We don't have celery stick. And chives. And I want to get an orange drink and a chocolate bar. Say it again. I can't hear you, man. Why don't you listen up, man? Why don't you tell your friend to pipe down so you and I can talk here? It's not my friend, sir. It's a customer. I'm not interested in that. How about that? How about you get off the phone and shut up? Hello, how may I help you? Yeah, can I get some pork loins and an orange drink? Yeah, we have all that for you. Just come down here and order and you should be all in the game. Okay, okay? That's not all. I'd also like uh, some fish in there. Catfish? Mm, no. Actually not. So. What kind? I'll give you time to get a pen and then you can uh, work it out. How's that sound, Junior? That, that sounds perfect. Okay, great. Give me 20 minutes, leave me ready to come your butt down here and get for water. Sharpen your pencil and uh, write it down. How about you shovel my pencil? Want to show my pencil? Bye, What's up? Uh, yeah, um, I want to get a pickup. You want a pickup? I need uh, neck bones. Pork or beef? Uh, pork neck. Pork neck. How's that? Dark meat. So. Okay, what's your name? Uh, Nick. Nick to Dick. Okay. Be ready for you in 10 to 15 minutes. Well, I'm here now, so I'll just step in and pick it up. How's that, Greg? Sounds great. Okay, and I'm going to use coins, and uh, probably might take a long time, so probably uh -huh. not going to like it. Dance with the devil in the pale moonlight. We dance with my fists. We can lights out when I'm done. Let me double fine. I need neck bone. Grab her. Okay, talk to you later. You come down to the monger. I'm gonna hang up, and I'm not gonna call back. So don't even bother answering, because it's not gonna be me. You know what? Just for that, I won't answer. Man. I'm gonna fax you three pages in a row right now. No, not three pages. That's too much. I'm doing it. Then I'm gonna come in there and I'm gonna not buy anything. How's that sound? Tell me what, how about we get together and save the rain for her? Sure, you to be able to find your way out. I'm done throttling you. Okay, Willie Wacker. It's gonna be uh, end of business here for you, pretty soon. That's okay, we're not in a real restaurant anyway. You can say that again. So, seriously, skeleton nets, right? That's what you skeleton guys nuts? That's what you guys got, right? Uh, Mr. Willie Wacker, how often do you whack your Willie? You squeeze my weapon pretty quick. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not talking about your weenie, man. Yes, you I'm were. I'm talking about steel. Yes, you were. I'm talking about steel. You were talking about it three times this now. Huh? Yeah, you what, heard Willie Wacker? Yes, you're a Willie Wacker. I didn't say you were whacking your Willie. You were just whacking Willie. Willie's that right. See a word, Willie, you whacking. That's what you're talking about. Hey, man, check it out, Jello Spice. I know that you're a pillow biter, man. Grabber, okay? Blood pirate is what you call. Now, that's no problem. I got no problem with that. That's your lifestyle, that's okay. But you don't have to call up here trying to force your lifestyle on us hard working individuals. Nobody wants to hear about your butt game, okay? Especially with your skeleton meat that you got. Skeleton meat? Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, take the skeleton bone and shove it right up your mind. I don't eat shit like that. No. Neck so bones? Hell the, no. You, you put the bone in your mouth, you think. That's what you're all about, isn't it? No, no, you're not putting nothing of mine in your mouth. I, I not like that. I just told you, you're not going to impose your lifestyle. You're promoting some sort of neck bone, and I don't like... It helps your mother. I mean, it helps in your mouth. I want a refund. You got it. Tell me, sir, are you a retard? 
That's not very friendly. So, how long have you been gay? Westwood? West LA? Where is this the gay people at? Your help? I, I want some catfish, bro. I want to talk to your mom. You know, we can make a movie her and me. You can write, write out the title. My mom takes the fifth black one. No? I want an orange soda. Oh, we have orange soda. And a chocolate bar. I have a chocolate bar. Okay, I'll take it. Where? Pick up. You'll take it where? Where will you take it? Right up the wazoo. Huh? Look, man, I've had enough of your games now. Why don't you go home and whack your willy a little bit longer? Tell your little girlfriend over there to help you. I hear him call you. You're living in the background. Put the jacket on the chat. Okay, you done? Hey, wait, wait, I like that. Turn that up a little. Could you turn that up a little? You done? I'm about out of time. You're out of time? It's been good. Okay, we've had fun. Still want to milk your mom. And now I'm going to whoop your ass. <laughs> You're great, man. You're great. Who taught you this? Mr. Billy, can I help you? Can what you, can I do for you? Can you do... And a bullion flavor for my taste. I might be able to. I am here to greet you. Great. I am here to greet your flavors. That you okay. Have. What flavor? The flavors which I see. Ah, okay. Great. A bullion. A bullion. Elegant. Elegant. Okay, so what the hell are you calling about? I am not knowing what you mean when you say these things. Calling, you called me, I didn't call you. The different things you say to me? What do you need? Why are you calling me? What the hell are you calling about? I'm gonna hang up, I'm busy at work. I hear you talking to your eye. Hello? Hi there. Hi, I need to return a Neon Gladiator. You need to return a what? Like a Dayglo Gladiator. A Dayglo Gladiator? I'm afraid I need my cash back, uh, compadre, so... <laughs> okay, I'll get your dad back as soon as he can. Okay, good. Okay. You need what my email name? address. You can send, um, send a question to our email address, questions at toysway.com. You know what? You're right. You could send a PayPal to my email address right now yeah. and just <laughs> do it. Oh, yeah, what's, what's your email address? That's a good idea. Okay. Okay, what is it? Hot-headed gladiator <laughs> at hotmeal <laughs> dot comma. Brilliant. Okay. Well, thank you for calling. I need about two to three hundred dollars. So. Okay. Well, we'll do our best for that. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hey, what what time do you open tomorrow? I asked you already to please stop calling me. Stop calling me. What, what time? time? If you stop calling me. I'd like to know what time you open. Stop calling me. Answer my question. No. Hey, what time do you open tomorrow? Listen to me. You need to stop fucking calling me. Stop calling me. I just want to know the hours. Stop calling me. Uh, what hours? Stop calling me. Dude. Right now. Stop calling me. Is this a business? Stop fucking calling me. What's the hours tomorrow? <sighs> Hello? Hey. What's going on? What's going on? Right. Well? That depends on who's asking. This is Camelot Services. Camelot Services? Yes, sir. Never and, heard of them. And we provide uh, transportation and entertainment on Cinco de Mayo. And we're going to be picking you up about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. How does that you're, sound? No, you're not either. Yes, we will you be. Must, you, must, you must have the wrong people because we're not going anywhere. We're going to pick you up. We're going to drop you off. I, I'm not interested in doing that. We've got other things to do. So tell me what's your, uh, how much your weight?
Hello? 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 Can you tell me uh, how much you weigh, approximately? Uh, wanted to get some shoes? I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. I wanted some special new shoes for Cinco de Mayo, dude. Well, we don't carry it. How do you know? Because I'm the owner of the business. Well, do you have anything in my size? Um, I don't know. I can, I can barely hear you. Call back when you're, you're taking off speaker. I'm not on a speaker. Well, it sounds like you are. Well, it sounds like you don't know a thing about shoes. How's that? All right. Well, don't call, don't call here again. I got more money than I know what to do with. Thank you. I, I wear a 12 and a half. So what? I don't care what you wear. And I'm looking for a sale. Well, I don't got no sale here. A 12 and a half or a 13? Or a 13 and a half? Hello? Yes, what do you want from us? What's, what's, what? What time were you open? Well, I'll be here until 6.30. I'll be there in about five minutes. Oh, that's fine. Come on in. I'm gonna come I, can on barely, in. I can barely hear you and understand you. I got $400 to spend. Okay, so come on in. Do you understand me? Well, you just come to the shop then. I'm gonna spend money up and down in there. All right, come on in. You're gonna, you're gonna shine my shoes, man. All right, that's fine. Come on in. Hurry you can sh spit shine them right now. No, you can do that for me. You don't know how to do it? No, we don't do that here. I'll spit right on you. Ooh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure, pump. I'm gonna come in there and I'm gonna take yeah, my shoes. you're not gonna come in anywhere. I'm gonna take my shoes off and throw them, throw them up and down. Well, it doesn't matter. Me and you will uh, meet out in the parking lot. Yeah, sure. Come on, try your luck. Looks not necessary. Alright, so don't call here no more. So how late are you Don't worry about it. Where I am, where I'm located. So how late are you? How much do you weigh? Because I don't want to mess around with any big people. Don't worry about it, Jake. I'm a little fat. They might hurt me, you know? No, I don't hurt anybody. Okay. Because when I come in, I'm going to take my shoes off. I'm going to put my feet up. I'm gonna push you around. You got me, Shreem? Hello. Hey. Uh, what size? Huh? What size shoes? How many big ones? I need no nongle. I'm gonna... Yeah, come on, he's bigger than me. I'm going to take off my shoes and throw them That's at good. you. That's good, are you, uh, are you ejaculating? I'm going to take my shoe off of you and put it on myself. Wow, wow. I'm going to, and I'm going to take your shoes, punk. Um, can I do? Hi, can I pick up food? Hello? Hi. Hello? Shut up. Hello? Shut up. Hello? Shut up. Hello? I fool you. Hello? I can hear you. Hello. I fool you. Hello. I fool you. Hello. I fool you. Yeah. 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 I fool you. Yeah. Hello. I fool you. Hello. I fool you. Yeah. Have a party. Hello. I fool you. you. Yeah. Wacky shacks, can I help you? Yeah, I need a CDR. Oh, what was it? A CD? I need a CDR. CDR! CDR! Oh, we don't. We don't carry those. We don't. CDR! Where do I go? We don't. Um. Where? Do I go? Um. CDR! I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't. 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 Off the depot, try off the depot. Struck out. I struck out. How much did it cost? I struck out. How much so did it cost? Call off the depot. What's their number, do you know? I don't have it. What do you guys do over here? We sell CDs and... Well, we sell, sell me a CD. Vinyl, a, a CDR. Well, sell me a CD then. What CD, CD would you like? CD-ROM. We don't, we don't carry those. CD RAM or ROM? CD 
You want something so you can burn a CD? Is that what you want? I want to burn a CD-ROM. I'm not understanding what you want. Like a rewritable CD-R. Try Office Depot. Where are they? Office Depot. They're at Pearl and Colfax. MBS Electronics. Yeah, I'm looking to buy us some valves. Say again? I'm looking to uh, buy us some valves. Okay. And uh, wanted to do a quick turnaround on that one. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, are you asking me, can I buy us your amp, or are you asking me on advice as to how you can do it? I'm asking you what time I can come and pick the thing up from you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is it? It's a Gorilla amp. A Gorilla? Yep. I was not aware that Gorilla made any amplifiers that had vacuum tubes in them. Well, I put some Gorilla snot on there so you could pick the thing up. Who's this? Uh, this is Byron. Byron. Okay, Byron. Are we local in Denver, Byron? Okay, so you're loco, right? Is that your name? No. That's what you just said. No, that's not what I said. I said, are you local in Denver? Okay, how much is a gorilla snot? Uh, man, you sound like you're talking to a tremolo unit, man. How much is gorilla snot? How much does Gorilla Snot cost? Well, there is a there is a product called Gorilla Snot. Uh, guitar players use it to put on their fingers to keep from dropping picks. I don't sell that particular product, uh, and I don't know how much it is, but I have heard of it. I use Gorilla Snot when I'm cracking whips. When you're cracking whips. You sound like you're talking through an uh, octaver pedal. It's a bad connection, man. Where are you calling from? Why are you talking through an effects pedal? I'm not talking through an effects pedal. Where are you calling from? I'm in Erie. Erie, Colorado? Yeah. Okay. And I'm getting ready to crack some whips. You want to crack some whips? Okay. And who do you want to crack these whips on? I got a Gorilla Amp, and I need a bias, and I need a triple turnaround time. Triple turnaround time. Let me ask you a question, dude. What kind of fucking drugs are you on? Charlie, you sound like you're talking through a squeeze box or something. Well, regardless of what I'm talking through, what kind of drugs have you been doing, dude? The only thing I know is I got my hands all full of gorilla snot. And I'm on my way down there, and I'm going to crack my freaking whip. Alright, you're going to crack the whip, man. Who are you going to crack the whip on? You're going to... Feel my grip. I'm gonna see your ribs. I'm gonna grab hold of your legs. Dude, I cannot fucking understand you. It sounds like you're talking through a wild wild pedal. Well, I'm not. I think you are. Period. Well, you know what? How about if I don't give a rat that's what you think? Why don't you quit wasting my time, asshole? I got shit to do. Uh, I got some valves I need looked at, Charlie. And, uh, if it ain't done right, some of these butts good to get work. Oh, really? Well, that'll be interesting. Because if you're coming by here to whoop me, you done brought a whip to a fucking gunfight, dude. And that means you're gonna die. I'm from Slidell, Louisiana, across the river from New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, there's a sample right here. I be all about that guac, I be all about that cheese If you wanna conversate, you gon' have to bring my news Number one, cash, number two, cash flow Number three, you ain't even gotta act, go act If it ain't about moolah, it ain't about me And if it ain't about guac, it ain't about cheese My money long, I think I need the money My money strong, it's not gonna only do the two Bang, bang, need the flow, money so you can come on